So we have religions all over the world, Hinduism, Christianity, Buddhism, um, and they haven't been able to produce a, a, a rational uh, argument like you just have. So what is the condition of those religions today? I mean, the condition of those religions is that, uh, you know, in our stance uh, towards them is that all of these religions were divine religions um, that had messengers who established these religions, and that messenger was sent by God. So we, we, we see ourselves as a, a continuation of that line of those religions. Um, but those religions are pointless, they're invalid. Um, if you are not following the Spirit of God in that time. Because the whole point of religion is that creatures, the creatures that are poor to God and that are born and that die, have to find that Spirit that resides amongst them that never dies. Uh, the Almighty Creator Spirit, the Spirit of God. Um, you, it is unacceptable to be a Jew, but at the same time living in the, in the time of Moses السلام, and reject Moses. You can't be a Jew that rejects Moses even if you're keeping all of the laws. You can't be a Jew that, that and, and consider yourself a, a practicing Jew if you accept uh, all of the laws but you reject the prophets and the messengers or you reject the Messiah, Jesus. You can't be uh, a follower of an Abrahamic religion um, and then there comes the prophesized one, the comforter, Muhammad sallallahu and you reject Muhammad, but you're still fasting or praying or doing the rituals of religion. That's pointless because it's not, this is not what it's about. Uh, religion and its laws and its rituals, they change throughout time, depending on the circumstance, depending on the people, depending on the covenant. So it is vital, it's absolutely vital that people find that living spirit of God that's amongst them and it is irrelevant to pray fast or hold on to any rituals with the absence of the proof of God mm -hmm. which is the vessel for the spirit of God and you've explained uh, already that this such a vessel is always present on it's it. always present and the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi you know explained and emphasized the importance of of knowing who it is. I mean, he said to his own nation, who were all Muslims, he didn't say to them, people, after I leave you, all you have to do is to pray and fast and it's all good. No, he said, whoever dies and doesn't know the Imam of his time has died the death of ignorance. Mm -hmm. So that means what? That if you are a Muslim, but you don't follow the Imam, the living one of your time, and and there is a living Imam for every time, or else he wouldn't have said it. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you have died as if you never were a Muslim in the first place. And that's an extremely important and dangerous uh, point that is often overlooked. Um, and uh, that is what we are bringing forward. We're bringing forward this point. That is the point of religion. Mm -hmm. So this man, this vessel, this, um, we call them a prophet, a hujja, to in this day and age of Mahdi, um, this man is not just a spiritual leader, or, or, or but also a earthly. No, he's he's a king. He's a political leader. He is a spiritual leader. He has all of the authority that God Almighty has, and and that's a very important point, and it's proven. Um, Adam السلام, when he was appointed, God made all of the angels prostrate to him. What does that mean? It means that the hosts of heaven, the Imam, has authority over them. And he has authority over heaven. And he has authority over the kingdoms of the earth. Because God also made Adam in charge of all of the animals. And he said, name them whatever you would like mm -hmm. to name them. You know, and you have full authority over all of them. And all of it was created for you. So, uh, Jesus, when he appoints Simon Peter, uh, something very important happens, and that is that he tells him this very important line. He says, um, I'm handing you the keys of the heavens and the earth. He says, whatever you bind 
on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you bind in heaven will be bound on earth. Well, what does that mean? That means that Simon Peter had the authority to change any laws that he deemed necessary, establish any laws, uh, to make any rulings. Uh, he had the authority even to uh, forgive sins. And it was, it was stated clearly in the Bible that whatever, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi even says it to Imam Ali alayhi salam, uh, in the will itself, he says, you are going to be and have authority over my women and my people after me. Mm -hmm. Whoever you divorce from me shall be mm -hmm. divorced, and whoever you keep shall be kept. So he has wilaya uh, taqwinaya. He has universal, um, universal authority. Mm -hmm. uh, he has the authority of saying be and it is, and that is that if Simon Peter was to state something, it would automatically become a truth and a reality, even if it wasn't a reality. Mm. This is a very important point. Mm -hmm. How is that the case? But one of the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Plato alayhi salam, uh, he stated that the world that we're living in is a world of darkness, and it's an incomplete world. Mm -hmm. And because of the fact that it is an incomplete world, it's a dark world, it's a... Um, it's a world that's full of untruths. Uh, it's an illusionary world. Mm -hmm. There cannot exist in this world, says Plato, a stable reality, a stable truth. Mm -hmm. So stable truths are only for that world, the world of perfection. In this world, there's no stable truths. Mm -hmm. Things are changeable. And it's all changeable. And, and this is proven, by the way, by quantum physics. The quantum physics right. even have came to a point where they say that uh, reality is not stable. There's, there's, no, there's no stable truth to it's it. It's changeable. You know, uh, things, the past, the present, the future, it's all changing. Yeah. So what this means is, uh, is that the proof of Allah uh, has the authority, the Spirit of God, and it is God. Mm -hmm. So naturally he would have the authority that he could just say something. And it would change the entire timeline of the past or the future or the present. Mm -hmm. So the, to answer your question, because your question was, is he, is he a political leader? I mean, he's a, he's a universal leader. He's a, he's a king. He's, a, he's God in creation. Oh. Oh. 